Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, it's me again, and I just hold on. Sorry, I had to turn the TV down real quick. Um, today I'm gonna do another movie review. Um, this is completely different from what I normally do. You know, I only mainly do sci-fi, fantasy, and stuff like that. I did this kind of review once before with two movies at one time. No, it was actually four movies. I realized that. And I actually did a video on it, but you know how I mainly stick with the horror stuff and the science fiction? Well, today I'm going to do a, another comedy DVD review, and it's kind of an underrated comedy. I really like this film. Uh, some people think it's just too stupid, but I love those kind of comedies. Um, uh, it received a bit of a cult following, I believe. Uh, anyways, let's get to it. It's John Limonesco, it, Lee Gwynn. Z Zamo, I don't know how to pronounce it, is The Pest. Yes, The Pest. This is a great film. It's so, so funny. It's a fast-paced comedy. It starts out funny and it ends up on a funny note. It's not like most comedies where it's just like, it's funny and then boom, it drifts into a, like a, drama, a stupid drama plot. No, this is just straightforward comedy. Like, there's some serious tone to it, but they make jokes at it. Like, they make it funny. Which is what I like. You know, when you watch a comedy, you don't want to be, you don't, you know, it bothers me that people like drama and comedy. When you watch a comedy movie, you should just have pure funniness. And this is where this movie got did it right. Um, it stars John Leguizamo as Pest, and his full name's like really hard to remember. Um, I can, I wish I could tell you it, but so long. Uh, but it is short into pest, and he is kind of a pest, so it kind of works out. And the plot is, he accidentally gets involved with this one guy. Like, he goes on out for a hunt because he's supposed to be getting, like, this scholarship. But it turns out the guy actually wants to hunt him. And it's pretty funny to watch. Because you can see all this, like... He says all these, like, wisecracks and stuff. He had... The guy who's hunting him has, a. Uh, Snake obsessed son. I guess he's probably gay, but I'm not sure. And um, he want he doesn't want to kill him because he just wants to be a hairdresser and write musicals. And his father's supposed to be a Nazi. So he, and that's pretty much the plot of the movie. He's trying to get away from him, and it's funny. Um, I, in a comedy level, I'm giving this a 5 because it's just a straightforward, fast-paced comedy. Starts funny and ends funny. You're going to be laughing the whole time. Like, when I saw this, I was dying of laughter. Um, I got this for a cheap price to at FYE for about, like, 10 bucks. In fact, I got a lot of movies at FYE on one day. I spent, like, 30 bucks, I think. In total, like, I got um, six movies, but, but, like, one was, like, a set of, like, four. It was, like, a Dracula set. Um, I'll show you that later. Um, and I also got the Howling with this. So it all cost me like uh, 30, 33 bucks, I think. And it was worth it because um, got a great comedy and uh, five great horror movies. But this is probably the one I liked the most out of the entire things I bought because it's a hilarious movie. I have a good time watching it. I can watch this a lot and not get tired of it. I mean, I have, I lie. You know, that's a lie because like if I watch it too much, then it's like I have to take a break from it. For a little while and then I watch it again and I'm dying of laughter like I'm probably gonna watch it again tonight because I haven't watched this in weeks um anyways that's my review for the pest if you haven't if you don't have this movie um I highly recommend checking it out you can get it for cheap it's a fun fast-paced film and you'll fall in love with the pest it's hilarious all right later